Okay, we have uh, Pennsylvania State Police Lieutenant Eric Hermick, who is with us. He is the head of, he's heading this investigation. Right now, what we know is that two people were shot in the food area or the bistro building of uh, the campus here. What more can you add to that? I can tell you that uh, we believe the situation is under control. Uh, we've accounted for the family's children to make sure they're safe. Uh, we do believe this is a uh, murder-suicide. We're waiting for the coroner to arrive, but this is not an active shooter situation. There is no threat to the public at this time. Okay, so let's go back a second here. This is declared a murder-suicide. Uh, are both people killed? We have two people killed, uh, a male and a female. Both have been uh, shot. Uh, at this location, uh, we're waiting for the coroner's office to arrive so we can finish processing this crime scene. Are these uh, two people students of Penn State? No, I believe the uh, female is a worker here at Penn State and the male is her uh, estranged husband. Okay. Uh, do we have an identity on these people? I cannot release uh, names nor do I have that information with me. What did witnesses tell you um, leading up to the shooting? Uh, the only accounts we have thus far, it's, it's still early on in the investigation, is that um, there was multiple shots fired, uh, a lot of screaming in the parking lot area. I'm assuming that may have been some frantic people that heard the gunshots. Uh, the officer heard shots fired in the parking lot as well. And when he responded, he found the two uh, individuals deceased. Now, did this happen in a parking lot or inside the building? It happened outside the building, in the parking lot beside the uh, victim's car. Okay. Now, the victim, the intended target of the shooting, was she leaving her shift for work at the time? at the end of the day and going home? I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't gotten that far, um, but there was a rouge set up to get her outside of her workplace. I don't know if this was the end of her shift or she was just meeting him to exchange. This person who fired the shot, her estranged husband, um, were there other people uh, in the line of gunfire at the time? I'm not certain. Uh, we haven't uh, viewed any video evidence at this point. I can tell you that uh, it appears that this was a close proximity shooting, um, so I don't believe there was anybody in between them at the time. Did it, did it appear he parked his vehicle next to hers and waited for her to come out of the building? He parked his vehicle across the parking lot. Um, not sure what the semantics are behind his uh, this attack. But others, they did bear witness to this shooting. We have at least one witness that we are currently working with right now, but he's provided a lot of information that we were able to cooperate already. And uh, once again, because it's so early on in the investigation, we're still collecting photographs and forensic evidence. Does uh, Penn State uh, indicate that this couple had problems before, that this person uh, presented himself as a threat on campus prior to today? Not that I'm aware of, but uh, once again, their reports are going to be queried as, as well. Um, it's early on. I can just tell you that it appears to be some type of domestic violence issue here. Okay. What more can you add to this? Uh, to the information you're giving us right now in regards to the investigation? Uh, it's just early on, but I can tell you that the scene is secure. Um, the community is not a threat. We do not have a shooter at large. I know there's often panic about uh, college campuses. We talk about active shooters. That's not the situation here. The identity of the suspect, how soon can you release that? Uh, once the coroner is here and makes his decision uh, and gives us permission, we will release that name immediately. Okay. And, and lastly, this victim, she never indicated to Penn State that she had problems with her estranged husband to the extent that he would be a deadly threat. I, I do not know that yet. Uh, we were called here to, to assume this investigation, um, and they've turned it over to us, and we still have yet to uh, sit down with them as far as their uh, past reports or any history. Okay. Well, thank you very much. This is